So here, chat elements, and you can see that it is comprised of the chat message and the chat input. So as the name implies, the chat input will allow you to display a widget that accepts the chat input. And the chat message here will allow you to display a container for the chat message, which allows you to embed various Joomla elements, such as charts, tables, text, and many more. Let's take a look at the chat message method. So here you could have a look at the various parameters that you could use. You could customize the avatar. You could add a different emoji or even a custom image if you like. So here, the chat message method, you're using the width statement and underneath that you're printing out text using the st.write and then you're displaying a chart element. And then you could see here that this is the chat message and the text message is printed here followed by the chart element displayed below. And if you scroll down, let's have a look at another example. So before we were using the with statement, but here we're just going to call it directly in the returned objects. So here we're going to assign to the message variable st.chatMessage, and then we're going to assign it a row of an assistant. Then we're going to make use of this by saying message.write, and then we're going to give it a input argument of hello human. And then you're going to see here in the below example, the chatbot will say hello human. And then you're going to continue by typing in message.barchart, and then you're going to give it the contents of the bar chart. And here we're using the built-in bar chart method for displaying the bar chart. And both here, the text and the chart elements are displayed as the chat message. And that's it for the chat message. Let's have a look at the chat input. So these are the various parameters that you could customize. So here you're going to see that in order to use the chat input, you could give it a input argument of say something, and then the text say something will be written inside the text box here. And then we're going to assign this method to the prompt variable. And then we're going to add some conditional here in order to perform a certain task upon the entering of a prompt. So if a prompt message is entered, we're going to do the following. We're going to write the following F string and the F string will combine the string here together with the variables content inside here, the prompt variable, which is coming from the chat input box. Okay, so if you type in hello, enter, then user has sent the following prompt right here, and then we're gonna just append the content of the chat input, which is the hello. And it's as simple as that.